The four juniors. Ooh. 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 All right. Already, the arrangements are more exciting here. Four players, great. Yeah, I compl I completely forget how lacking Super Rush is because like for for at least the past six months I've only played that game for less than an hour a month just to get the new skins because there's literally so little to return to. It is nice to get the full hull, but, yeah. Alright, so Lugi does that. Yeah, okay. Peach gets a free ride. Topspin might not have been necessary, but... Can't hurt. Easy green. This will still take a rightward bounce, so I think I'll still get that rain anyway, yep. Yeah, I don't know, like... The music to the music totally carries the experience. Otherwise, just like, you know, be kind of like between the interface and like just the overall sameness of everybody. I don't know. Like really the game the game is built around motion controls and and speed golf, but when that mode isn't what everybody plays, then the whole thing the whole formula kind of falls apart. So wait, so does that mean that Switch captures only 30 frames a second? I haven't actually I haven't actually tried to test that. Oh, you wanna see a Megalodon strategy? Nice shot. A Lamau, and then we and then we chip out there. Oh so delightful. Yeah, because typically when you get like a flicker or strobe effect on a console, then that is something that is moving at every frame. So I think I think Katie still gets this, but which then frees me up for the possibility of Trying to do. Oh. All right. No. Oh well, you tried. I don't think Peach gets this rain and stuff and stuff, so Diddy's gonna be back up here. I should have at least added backspin just, you know, just as precaution, but whatever. Ghost Monkey. The next in the long line of succession of heat. 
After the uh, Carolina Reaper monkey. That actually sounds like a pretty great name for an indie indie band. <laughs> Carolina Reaper monkey. Well, I think either way, if you uh, if you plug an M Classic into it, I think you might still get 1440. But don't quote me on that because I I don't actually I don't actually do that. I feel I feel like M Classic does its best on uh, 480p and 720p. All right. So maybe I try to go through as many of these as possible on the initial initial. Okay, that's good. And maybe there's a chance Katie can act as backup for some of these later rings. That slice is probably going to result in me missing a couple here. Or maybe not. Well, shoot, okay. Plus one is probably a good thing here. Well, um... This is slightly awkward. But oh well. Yeah, you definitely would have to be some kind of tactical mastermind in order to get birdies with everybody. I think I have done that before, but I don't remember how. Should be possible. Get all birdies. Probably that probably the the awesome play the probably what I should have done is maybe ha is maybe set up Luigi short and then just have him just blast through all 15 rings or something but it, it's hard to have the, it's hard to have the courage to try to do that without like everybody taking a crack at it and backing each other up yeah this would be astonishing if I could actually get all these in one go. Nice shot, Katie. Okay, maybe I can get four birdies after all. Birdie putt. Birdie putt. Uh, four birdies? Complete. Okay. This is an example where the rings are almost but not quite touching, so I don't think you can get- I don't believe you can get two at once here. Just most unfortunate. Man, listen to that bass twain. That was something that Sakuraba has done so well with these soundtracks. The bass just, like, does things. It's- The bass is an, an adventure- in its own right. It'd be hard as hard as hell to do on Guitar Hero. Cause I've I've charted a couple of these uh of these soundtracks on well not Guitar Hero, but rather Clone Hero through the uh uh There's a certain app you can use to like kinda create your own charts. I think it's like Moon Sweeper or something like that. I trying to remember off the top of my head. Maybe a oh, Moon Scraper, I think it is. Oh yeah, I gotta get through this rain, okay. Nice 
And and with and with some of these tracks, with the way the bass is, it either it either like alternates between like you know two notes a in a not of a part, you know like dern or 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 something like that. Or or in the case of like Blackatoo Valley, um, what the bass does is it kind of it, it there's like galloping triplets, except. Except the, the the pattern with the galloping triplets of the bass in, in the Lakitu Valley uh, music is high high low high high low, and that is hard to do fast. That is very hard to do fast. Something like that. Something like that. You get the idea. All right, this will this will ensure that Katie can reach the green on the following shot. Since Diddy is since Diddy ended up going further, so it's less of a burn for him to get the the rain of the sword. So Peach gets these, and thankfully there's built-in redundancy at the end where there's two pairs of concentric greens at the end there. So only two characters need to get those, not all four, which is nice. He doesn't need powers anymore. He's only 315 out. Just depends on where everyone, where everyone is situated now. But yeah, it looks like yeah, Katie's furthest back, so be first to go. Yeah, I think I'm still through all the rings pretty cleanly. That was a delicious deflection. Delicious, okay. And then, yeah, why not? Did he spin is not terribly strong, so... Like a homing missile, you have a This is a pretty tight landing spot here. So that is just fine. No pin shot, if you please. I aimed away just to ensure that that shouldn't happen. And four birds. Ah, but thankfully, these rings do touch. And it's pretty generous, too. Yeah, let's give Peach this one for free, because she can't quite move the ball the same way Luigi can. Yeah, boy! Swoosh. Though these two on the left are definitely more extreme to the left, but now Diddy has now Diddy has a free shot. I was gonna use backspin, but power loss here is sufficient. Damn, still didn't take enough off. Maybe full power is enough. Well, there would be a lot of slope, yep. Almost got all birds. Wario is definitely a very good choice for snagging those rings, and he can still get green in regulation in spite of that. Complete. Yeah. DK can do it too. Luigi, not quite.
This is the hole here that should be easy, but I find ways to screw up anyway. This is kind of like, this is almost like a four-player version of uh, Donuts. And like other holes, it is possible to potentially send one ball through multiple rings in one shot. But that's kind of like a speedrun only sort of thing. It's not ter not terribly easy to pull off. We'll put Katie right here. Yeah. Katie gets number three. Peach gets number two. Lugie's gonna get number one, and Diddy's gonna get number four. Keep it simple. Just in case. This should land like on the front fringe and just take a big hop and stop. Or it deflects in some weird way. Okay, well, two putts. Two putts. Uh, yeah, that front fringe is kind of funny, so... Just be careful with that. Katie almost does it again. Ayla Mao. Okay. Huge difference whether the ball lands on the green or not. Pretty chances, okay. But this one is a little bit wild. Although, kaboom! Where are we at? Okay, two more still. Ah, yes. This is the one where Bowser can get all four rings in one go. But we don't have Bowser here. No, we do have Katie, though. As for how, as for how many of those rings that are actually collected, I don't know. But the plan is to play everyone as far right as possible. So that then, you know, anyone and everyone can can just back Katie up here. Okay, I think Luigi can still make the green from there. That's not a huge issue. Ugh, tree lag. Well, as long as I stay on the fairway, I probably don't need the power shot. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I was hoping Di I was hoping Diddy would um, take the hit here, but ah, all that, and I don't even reach the green. Sadness. This is still a super easy hole, so it really doesn't matter. In fact, I can even play Peach low here if I wanted to. Nice. Ayla Mao, okay. That is how you do the thing. And then we just spin a shitload with Luigi, affirming that yes, I do reach the green, nice. but a long way to go. Nice. This will roll lots, it is a long approach after all.
Now I'm just having fun. Oof, okay. King of the dance floor, let's go. Yeah. One more mark. I will definitely say that the, uh, the Minecraft zombie is swallowing me from the inside here. It's kind of what it's looking like. Or it looks like some kind of corruption effect in some video game of some sort. Oh, the treetop. I remember you fondly. Alright. So we set everybody up in this general region. And I think Katie can reach, can hit the can hit a ring and reach the green. I think. Didn't need that much top spin. There we go, that's more like it. That sets up Luigi in prime position to get the, to get those other ones. This forces Katie to go first. Which is simple enough to do. Something like... Something like this. Nice pin high. Ooh, even better. Well, since I'm not reaching the green anyway, I might as well just do a... a, a double ring get. That'll take the burden off of Diddy Kong. Fly away to victory. Fly away. I still rolled a shit ton. Oh my dear god. Well. Okay. So, this we got. Uh, full fate is gonna be out of the question here. Alright, let's see. Yeah. You miss the days when- you miss the days when, you know, you could upskirt the princess in a Nintendo game. Yeah. I miss those days. It's not looking likely. Okay. Alright, I still get rings, so that's nice. But not green. But that's fine, no more rings. Don't you freaking dare. Ah, this that's right. This is the uh, super high contrast green. This is the this is the place that you go to to ensure that your settings are good. Alright. Oh yeah, we finished. Ah, yet another prime example of hole that is surprisingly difficult. Because these rings are hidden. Disgusting, but I should still have some kind of shot. Who knows, maybe Katie won't be the first to shoot this time. Yeah, 157. Okay, so Peach will go before will go before Katie this time. Hello, I true. Long time no see. Today's challenge, I am doing ring attacks, all of them, with the weakest characters in the roster. And so far. Quite successful.
If it wasn't for the fact that I'm still just, like, bad at this game, I would potentially be possibly slightly saving time. I have no idea, but... Because this really comes down more to, uh, technique than anything. Just not failing, not being bad. Because every restart is, extre is extremely costly. Peach can do... Like... Oof, careful, careful. Nice shot. Nice. This'll work. Nice. Green and reg is always a good thing. Oh yeah, that's right, Katie's got some difficult stuff. Okay. Okay. Got the rain, but lost the grain. That's perfectly fine. Two shots from there is not bad. And then, yeah, Diddy takes care of this uh, pretty easily. so much. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. One third middle. Easy peasy. Ooh, a lot of slope. Oof. We gotta actually aim here. Don't we? <laughs> yeah, bet your ass we have to aim. Yikes. Alright, aggro. Use head smash. I mean, you got Rockhead, my dude. Use it. Complete. Sturdy's not bad either, but... I mean, what are you gonna do? Cuss tap? That would be some goddamn heat right there, too. Frickin' Sturdy with Cuss tap Berry? Hey, mow. I don't even- I don't even understand Pokemon. I haven't played in 10 years, and I still know what a Cuss tap Berry is. It is one of those so-called pinch berries that gives you a move with higher priority when you're at low health. Which is great for doing things like setting up rocks or exploding or whatever you do as a, as a so-called suicide lead Pokemon. This is a, a hole here that has a lot of built-in redundancy, but it is also very chokeable. Also very chokeable. Alright, so Katie and Peach have done a spectacular job. Now allowing Luigi and Diddy to, to pursue forward. And if it weren't for the fact that the, that the rings follow the course, I would actually just outright go for shortcuts for them both, for one or Luigi or Diddy, but it's not practical in this, uh, in this situation here. Interestingly, Peach is next up. But as long as I'm nailing, nailing timing, then I can basically do whatever I want. So that's good. It is that those last four, though, are the most difficult. All this timing, I, and I couldn't even nail a dunk chance. But oh well. All right, so going out here might help Diddy and Luigi serve as backup later here. The closer I can get, then probably the easier these shots get. Because it is a lot easier to miss one of these last ones. And if you miss the wrong ring, then oof, that can be quite, quite problematic. A slight bit more loft. I think I might get the bottom, too. Nice. Yeah, I don't even care where Katie ends up. The rings are the number one goal. I don't even care. Nice shot. 
This might even still get him. Yeah, because... Oh, my. Well, shit. Okay, well, all or nothing here. That I did not see coming, but... That was the last thing I expected. Okay. Shoot. Three. Maybe not get so greedy next time. All right, let's see here. I think I probably just got the top one here. I probably raised it too much. Wow, okay. Damn. Freaking flames here. You know what would be crazy is if I got just the first two pairs of rings with just uh, Katie and, and Peach, and then I just... You know what? Fuck it. And then that way, Diddy will serve as as backup and he'll have an extra shot. A hey, Lamau. If this isn't the flamest thing that I've done in quite some time, I don't know what is. And you know the funny thing is this could actually work. Okay, now I need now I need Luigi. All right, clutch shot from Katie here. Okay. Missing one of those would have been a death sentence. Without did without Diddy to back up. So how far away are these three? Because if we're still more at least 204 out. Okay, so Diddy's up next now. So let's see here. Oh my! What in fresh hell is this? Oh, that slice is gonna hurt a little, but... Maybe I'll still get one somehow. Nope. Okay. Although, I, st I can still go- I can still go back and forth, and I'll still be fine. So, it's not the worst thing. I do have to focus on hitting these higher ones. So, let's see here. Well, why is there so much variation here? Alright, just just get the top one. That's gonna be the most important one now. And then somehow stuff happens and I just drop and things. Okay, okay. Fine, have it have it your way, BK. Have it your way. So we got some goddamn clutch ass team members here. So now Diddy has an easy now Diddy has an easy birdie. Hey Lamau. Almost had an eagle. I mean, if I was going for an eagle, but I was actually going for a rain or, or two or whatever. But yeah, that would have been absolute flames. Had I actually gotten those bottom two from that angle. That was interesting. I would honestly consider that as a possibility for, for a speedrun. Is sending one character over that way to save a shot. But that's the other that's the other thing too with tactics here that that makes speedruns for this potentially insanely interesting is just like how much is the tactical planning like you know how much lane how much redundancy do you give yourself you know how risky are you are you going to be with each of your each of your party here in order to try to reduce shots or you know t take better shots or whatever have you possibilities are endless really And thankfully, these holes in and of themselves are not all that hard. I'm managing just fine with, uh, without any stars, weakest characters, and everything. 
So Katie's got a disgusting lie. That is a slight problem. That means maybe I'll only get the one in front. The other problem is that Katie's not going to be the first to go because we we got so far up. We, we have come so far up there. Might even be the last to go, which honestly might not be a bad thing because it's possible I might get all the rings with, without without Katie's help here. It's possible. Yeah, so Katie's going last, which might actually be a good thing. Yeah, obviously these ones are going to be the easiest to get together. This ball needs to slow down ASAP. Good. Little topspin just in case here. And then... How risky do I want to be? I'd rather do that than play way to the right and try to shoot back. There we go. That is delicious. So now Katie can have a rough ride home. Alamal almost scored again. That is that is the power of precision. Precision play. Characters with good control, you know. I mean, if you if you can stretch them to their limits, then yeah, you can hit any green in regulation with sometimes even just the chance of chipping outright. There's a lot of power in there, in that. Conditions do have to be optimal in some cases, though. As I have demonstrated before. That was, uh, a couple years ago. Was it? Or is it, or is it more recent than that? That I did those videos. Complete. This is the third one here, right? Yeah, because there's, there's Valley Tornado, hole 17 is the next one, that's right. I remember now, oh dear. Oh dear. Look free now. Da da da, and the tornado! Nice. There was some Megadeth song about tornadoes, or Tornado of Souls, or whatever the hell it was called. I don't know, Megadeth's just freaking weird. There's only so much Dave Mustang I can stand. Although I gotta admit, some of those early songs are just straight up flames. You know, there's there's no diminish there's no diminishing that. Like, just the one the one-two punch of Holy Wars Punishment Do and Hainer 18 is one of the strongest one-two punches in all of metal. Like, it's 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 up there with early Metallica one-two punches. It's it's insane. Although, you know what a really good fanboys up in a tizzy is, is which of the one-two punches is stronger between, uh, Ride the Lightnings and, uh, Master of Puppets. Oof. Because that pairing... You know, with, with classical Metallica, how they, how they did things was, um, they would have track number one be, you know, just whatever, and then track number two would be, like, the title track. Which was one, which would always be one of the longer songs on the album as well. And then somewhere toward the end of the album, whether it's the final or second to last song on the album, would be an instrumental. So yeah, a lot of comparisons could be drawn between uh, uh, between three of those albums, two or three of those albums. Although, I don't know, Justice kind of is just weird, you know? Like, with without the... Like, there's an obvious lack of bass, so it just ends up coming across as, like, super cold and tinny. But, 
in a way, in a way, it does sound good sometimes. And undeniably, uh, one is one of the best songs across the entire discography, one way or another. It really depends on the day, my preference between Ride the Lightning or Master of Puppets. Both are amazing. Both of them are almost directly comparable track to track, too. You know, in addition to the one-two punch and the end-of-album instrumental, there's also the uh, mid-album ballad, if you will. And then there's like, you know, four other songs on each album that one could either consider filler or just other comparable material. Still super good. You know, things like Trapped Under Ice and uh, Boom the Bell Tolls and um, Rada Rada. Okay, Flamingo Necklace of Doom is like this. Did I get them all? Or... I did. Okay, I missed the first one, but that's fine, actually. That's actually perfectly fine. Well, that slice really did a thing, but that's fine. That was perfectly fine. Lower this a little just in case. And now Diddy has a free ride, okay. Because, yeah, his, his trajectory is not really a good fit for these rings. So that's fine. And I still don't hit the green because I'm bad. Interestingly, I sometimes struggle on this hole of all of them. Sometimes. Although, Lugi is in a pretty weird, is in, is in a pretty awkward spot, so here's what we do. Okay, we got this, and we got this, and we got... I think this will be enough. That kind of works. Three marks more would have been great. I wish I could give one of Peach's strokes to Luigi, but yeah, can't be that easy. Although, frankly, this is a good angle. Wow, it, tr it tried to escape at the end. It tried. Give me that necklace. Give me the necklace. Complete. Necklace is mine. Lovely use of the DK64 sounds. Also, the corruption is becoming even stronger, so we shall try. Okay, so that reduced some of the outside corruption, but it increased my inner corruption. So that's kind of a that's kind of symbolic of, you know, my life. But now, eh, what are you gonna do? Sometimes, right? Ooh, you want to see the Megalist of Dawns. We're going to straddle this edge here and set Peach up as, as, as backup. Maybe as backup. No guarantee on that, of course. Yes, one must always be safe around seagulls. They're a pain in the ass. Alright, so Diddy maybe can set up here as a backup. Nice shot. Damn. That's looking good. That is looking real good. Alright, watch and learn, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, shoot. Okay, well... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Think, think, think. Uh, da, 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 da. Difficult situations. Nice. 
Well, that is why I do have Peach here, after all. And that's why I have Diddy here, after all. And holy hell, Diddy can actually make it. He's a strong boy. In spite of being the fourth weakest in the game. Minor problem, though. Is we lost Katie. Yeah, because Peach, Peach was able to take care of everything, so... Katie's uh, sacrifice was unnecessary. And for that matter, so was Luigi's. So this is an example of... This is really an example of, you know, trust your partners. This is, th this is a, a trust-building exercise. That's what this hole is. It's not really that difficult. Shouldn't be, anyway. Come on, really? I ran so far away, yay, yay. God damn it, is it really just a, a simple hook that makes me miss that? Okay, that works. Now, we try... Try that. No topspin shenanigans. Let's just play... Okay, yeah, then Diddy can just go to the right or something. Okay. Whereas Lugie here... Oof. Okay. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I didn't screw myself over just yet. Alright, Katie should be able to make it from there. I'm pretty sure. That's one good way to slow the ball down. Jesus Christ, okay. Yep, told ya. I would I would just add topspin, but plus four takes care of this for me. Well that was close, but good job everyone. Let's put this to rest. With some solid putts. So this 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 cup here is a little deceptive. Care must still be taken. Nice straight easy chop. Okay. All right. Don't allow that that slope any chance to corrupt my ball. None of that. Complete. All right. Ah! Split your lungs. With blood and thunder. That never gets old. It is pretty great. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's really no disadvantage going out here. Doesn't really, you know, 
at or reduced distance going to the whale either way, so... Yes, we on the subject of metal, of course. That is from our good, fr our good friends Mastodon. Okay, wait, think ahead. So if we do this, we do this. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so whoever goes out there just needs to go out and then get those rings and then just up and down in two, get the hell out. Lugi's the one that needs to go in the grotto, so... Yeah, Lugi's gotta go in the grotto. Let me think here. I'm just trying to think- I'm just thinking ahead to see how far everyone else can go. Diddy might be able to reach those far rings in one go. This is another hole where there's a little bit of redundancy built in. Because it is a par 5, so almost always you're going to have that. You're, you're almost always going to have that here. Oh, damn. That's right, I was supposed to send Luigi over there. Uh, crap. I guess I'll Peach do it. Yeah, frick. I'll, I guess I'll just have Peach do it. I'm gonna send Ki I'm gonna send Kitty over here as backup to maybe scoop these rings from underneath if Diddy fails. Yeah, that looks like it could work. Me and my absent-mindedness. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, this is this is trickier than I thought it would be. All the more of a reason to use Luigi to go over here. Didn't think about that. This is where having the hot shots uh, landing point camera would be most useful. Oh, you want to see some dumb shit? You want to see some really dumb shit? Now we proceed as normal. Even though I keep telling myself Luigi's the one that's got a on the way, but just because you're doing the you're doing the shot from the whale does not necessarily mean you're the one that goes for the grotto. That is a that is a more advanced uh, strat. It's not required. Chances are one of these three is still going to be further. Yeah, one of these three is still going to be further. Okay, wait. So, that... Kitty goes up there. This is fine. This is fine, actually. Wait, Lu Lugi can't quite reach that. Okay, so... Alright, get the low-hanging fruit first here. If Luigi were to fail, then someone else can get the others. Oh, crudsicles. You know, it's- it, wait a minute, it's fine. Luigi- Luigi can just get those. Oh wait, no he can't. He's gotta- he's gotta get the grotto. Crap, so Peach- so Peach has- Peach has to lag and get- and get him. Peach has to get him. I'm a dumbass. Cause you need- you need- you need a fade to get out of the grotto. Ah, Primity. Unless Katie can come through somehow. Uh, nope, I- I played that like an idiot. Alright, so... To the most interesting place... Yeah, a big looping fade should get me out of there, no problem. And then Peach can just attack these with a wedge. Because Diddy probably can't hit high enough to get out of get out and get those. 
probably, unless I situated him differently. So that's fine. Unfortunately, this gaff has come to bite me in the ass, so... This is a minor issue now. I am going to need extraordinary RNG blessings. And these are not extraordinary RNG blessings. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. I think maybe my logic was I was trying to do something where I could set up a shot to the grotto anyways as backup for Luigi, but that was just completely dumb. So, yeah, that was just a completely dumb idea. Yeah, uh, I don't know what I was thinking with that. All right, new different idea. New and different, different and new, and very strong. What if I send Lugi here? I'll kill, I'll kill two birds with one stone. I'll just play Luigi up there, then I'll do the shot through the grotto, and then stuff and stuff. I'm trying to remember though if you need a high bounce in order to in order to get those rings and and into the grotto. I'm trying to remember now. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it, but we'll find out soon enough. I just gotta not go too far again. All right, bad lies. So this is gonna require a placement. Diddy can't do shit, so I'll just play him somewhere big. I'm gonna get cheeky here. It's just there we go. That is delicious. Okay, so one e thingy. And then Luigi, in theory, has the final four. I don't need super top. Probably didn't even need top spin at all. That actually worked out nicely. Oh, my oh my. All right. You want to see the greatest of flames... Slow down! Don't get too deep. I hopefully didn't get too deep. Cause that was too much backspin, probably. Great, the anticipation is, is killer here. So the great question is, can I get out of the grotto? I have to do this in two shots, too. You bet your ass you can. Look at this fade, ladies and gentlemen. Luigi is a Luigi is a goddamn hero right now. Yeah, he's a freaking he's a legend right now. Something potable. There we go. Oh, this is mildly awkward here. I'm gonna pretend that this is straight. What the fuck? Okay, wow. That was definitely a severe right th a right throw. Ah, Sad, upsetting, everything. Damn, that was such a good plan too. Yeah, that was just, that was just a chokey putt. Yeah, that hurts. 
Ugh, wow, man. Condolences everywhere, Jesus Christ. Okay. It's just a game. Alright. We shall once again demonstrate the greatest of shots. Except maybe just standard backspin. Maybe see if that gets me a, a clearer exit here. Maybe. Alright, I can afford to hit this one lower to capture the fast. Holy crap, does that roll. Yeah, Diddy's got a lot more spin power, it seems, than the others. Yeah, Diddy wasn't gonna do crap from the lie, so it's Diddy. Ta so, Kitty taking those rings is absolutely fine. Nice shot. I can see why this split was taking me so long now, because the the final because the final hole's not even that hard. It must have just because uh, it might be, might be just because I was struggling on this one for various reasons. I'm not gonna risk the top spin this time, because I was definitely pushing it way too close before. This is definitely acceptable. I say that formation there of that bunker of the those two little bunkers and that one thing almost kinda looks like a sea cucumber. A hey, egg, hey, nudge nudge. Does she go? Does she go? I I say no more. Nice on. Nice on indeed. All right, now we try. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I'm not as close as I was before, so. Nice shot. Okay. Let's do the same thing, but normal back, and maybe I'll be in a more comfy spot. I think this is fine. That seems to be fine. Let's not leave Peach awkwardly, awkwardly short again. Even though we probably did. Nope. That is a, an assertive bounce. Clean shot. Wow, even easier than last time. A little safety hook, maybe. Because that was coming out pretty hot. Oh no, this awkwardness again. Alright, so that's definitely going to throw the ball. Ugh. Praise the Lord. So I do get two birds out of this, so that's pretty cool. Complete. Ah! Lungs were split. Alright. This one is not as bad in comparison. Alright. So we send Katie and Diddy out to the right. To back each other up for the for those two pairs of rings. And then Peach and Luigi take care of the other two. Nice shot. In whatever whatever order happens to happens to come here. Alright, here we see a, a rare and beautiful, but dangerous, Alola Mola. Technically, technically that is a, uh, a sunfish. Alo Alola Mola is a sunfish. 
Okay, well, it's a good thing we got Luigi. So he's gonna back us up here. Yeah, he's gonna have to back us up here. Because stuff happens, you know? That just means we have two bunker approaches then. Ooh. Minus 5%. What does that matter? We got a big strip of fast ferry to ride on. Yeah. So now Diddy's got a free ride. Hopefully this carries the green at least. Because if not, then we're going to have an interesting... Okay, good stuff today. This front, this front part is quite prominent, so this will stop the ball in a hurry. Or not, okay. It just kind of scoops it. So care must be taken, of course. There we go. Learn from that mistake. Yeah, short's not going to cut it here, I don't think. Eh, close enough. It was that was a tricky one to calculate. Complete. And yet I still save time on this course. <laughs> 